Hi everyone, good evening and my name is Hari. I'm your fellow developer and here I'm sharing the experience of Value Lab. So they ask many questions, so they have taken two rounds of interview. So I will go with each round of interview and some questions, whatever they ask to me and I will share with you. So then you, that is helping for you to, you know, uh, to handle coming interviews. So uh, first question they ask, uh, they are, they, and uh, the particular role, the particular role they are hiding for is next year's. And uh, it, that you know, it is a library uh, made on uh, top of ReactJS. So they ask first questions is, uh, what is file-based routing? What is app-based routing? So the difference between file-based and app routing, first question they ask is. Second, second question they ask, uh, what is the what is the use case of real uh, you can say use memo and use callback and uh, uh, react memo so we have to tell here uh, the the general example uh, for what purpose we are we, we are we are using this use callback and use memo and uh, what is the use case of react memo we use then uh, in fact Next question was there. Uh, they have given product. Let's suppose product P1, product P2, product P3. Uh, so uh, the sequence of product they have given. So they can and they ask uh, ask me here uh, how we can you know, define dynamic routes. So uh, as you know, we are using sledges uh, to define dynamic routes, and we can use a square bracket along along with this then we can you know put the so dynamic routes that you can take care in next years then uh, they ask the questions uh, what is the version uh, of react router domes we are using and what is the version of next years we are using here and they ask some question uh, with the huge effect uh, if we are not passing any dependency with the huge effect so how huge effect will run and uh, if you are passing the dependency, how huge effect will run. So they are asking the second phase of, you, know, you can say, a React life cycles so where uh, updating state will come. So they are, by the way, four phases, we can say uh, mounting, then we can say updating and error handling. Four is, uh, uh, this is un un unmounting and error handling. There are, uh, there are four phases, we can say. This, that was the first round. Then I got a call uh, from the HR that you were selected in the first round. Then uh, second round, they asked some questions, I'll tell you. Uh, so now, sec in the second round. So they started, uh, what is the huge case of context APIs? And uh, how you, how it is differed from uh, Redux? So what is the huge case of context API? It is how it is differ from the Redux? That was the question, first question. Then they ask, uh, what is the case uh, we use a server component and what is the case we can use client side component so server side component where we can use and client side component where we can use they ask these questions and uh, next question they ask since i'm i work with the client you can say paypal so they ask you know some integration uh, stuff uh, with me let's suppose we are having uis uh, two three uis or uh, you, you can say two three components and which component we can put in server side server side rendering side uh, means uh, which component we can put in server side uh, for rendering and which component we can put in client side for rendering so uh, where we are having uh, in that case what, I, what what is my answer is or what what was my answer here is uh, where the exactly payment transaction happen in the particular component uh, where we can say let's suppose we are having uh, you are getting the data from the server and uh, where pay payment is happening that com that particular component we can put in you can say uh, server side and otherwise all the component and uh, are uh, presentation component so we can put it client side there's no harm in that and then they ask uh, uh, what are the ways we are handling errors uh, error handling we are doing what is what is the way we can we, we are doing error handling in next years uh, and what is the way we are handling errors in react js even though then they ask this question so what is different between uh, use memo and use callback again 
so that was the round so i i cleared uh, that round some other questions was there uh, some output based question with the call back and set time out so that was the questions they asked to me so that was the second round at clear both of round uh, so i discussed with hr so it's this position is in hold uh, but if future it will come then uh, they, they can give me the opportunity so hope so uh, you know this uh, interview that i have given uh, help you uh, if you are going through and you know uh, hitting the rounds of interview this kind of interviews uh, it helping you also and uh, i'm happy to share uh, whatever interview experience i'm having here Uh, so that is the thing for this interview thank you so much uh, for showing your all support and uh, making this community big i'm so thankful and i'm i'm great uh, I'm, my, my feeling is so great here you know i'm keeping you know the big community and uh, supporting all the community uh, where, uh, whenever or uh, wherever it is possible so that is the motto that i started the community to making this big and it is really growing big so i got to know the responsibilities what i'm having here uh, by holding this community and this community is not made by one person uh, you all made this community you people are here thank you thank you so, so much from my heart thank you so much each and every one uh, who are here and who are you know connected here so this is the experience and uh, one little thanks giving to you thank you so much once again uh, for showing your all support bye bye and take care see you in next videos